It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're gonna go over Unity Learn's Create with Code player control. So you can see here's our class page. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Create with Code. Make sure you've signed in. You can see I'm already signed in. And first you're gonna to go to Getting Started. I'm gonna click on Course Introduction. We've already installed Unity, so you do not have to worry about this part of it, but you, we're gonna go over this. You can see in this section, you will be introduced to this course, the goals, what it involves, and how you can get the most out of it. This course was last updated on August 26, 2020, using Unity version 2018.4. So let's watch the intro video. Welcome to this official course from Unity, where you will learn to create with code. My name's Carl, and I'll be your instructor, teaching, guiding, and challenging you every step of the way. I studied computer science and game development, and have been helping students create with technology for almost 10 years. And I am so excited to help you learn to code and achieve your goals. So what is the goal of this course? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It's for you to learn to code and create with Unity. That means it's not a history of programming course. It's not a theoretical course. It's a practical course to give you the foundation you need to be able to program whatever you want with Unity. With Unity, you can build applications for mobile, like iOS and Android, platforms like Windows and Mac, consoles like PlayStation and Xbox. VR and AR devices like Oculus and Google Cardboard, and a lot more. Think about it. Every app on your phone, every program on your computer, all the technology you interact with on a daily basis was made with code. And if you learn to create with code, you can help to build that technology instead of just using it. I'll be teaching you how to code in C Sharp, one of the most popular and powerful programming languages in the world. So, as you are learning to create with code, you'll be doing so with Unity and C Sharp, both in-demand, industry-standard skill sets. Now let's get into the details. How are you going to learn all of this? Throughout the course, we'll create five distinct prototypes together, coding every single line of C Sharp from scratch. In each one of these prototypes, You'll learn critical new concepts, expanding and reinforcing your skill set with each new feature you add. After completing each prototype, I'll present you with a skill testing programming challenge and quiz where you can prove that you're ready to move on. And finally, throughout the course, you will also work on your own personal project that is completely and uniquely your own. You'll have lab time to come up with a design and concept for your project, plan it out, and build it. So by the end of this course, not only will you theoretically know how to create whatever you want with code, you'll have already done it. At the end of this course, you'll also be ready to take on the Unity Certified User Programmer exam. That's Unity's official stamp of approval, certifying that you know what you're doing. In this course, you will combine the knowledge of coding in C-sharp with building in Unity, and in doing so, you will be able to create interactive, dynamic, digital experiences. You can use these skills for game development, animation, storytelling, architecture, engineering, you name it. The sky's the limit. So let's start creating. So you can see, I already completed this, but yours should look like this. Mark step as complete, go ahead and select that. Next is watch then do. In this course, you wanna make sure that you watch what the Unity instructor is telling you before you do. Don't try to do it simultaneously. So let's go ahead and watch this video. Before you get started working on the course, there's something really important I have to tell you about how you should take this course. Even though it's just one little piece of advice I'm sharing here, it's so important that we made this entire video to tell you about it. So without further ado, 
Here are the three most important words you'll need to know to succeed in this course. Watch, then do. This course is made up of a ton of videos that you will watch where I'm showing you how to do cool stuff in Unity. But while the video is playing, just watch it. Then, after the video ends, you'll have the opportunity to do it yourself. Watch, then do. If you try to do what I'm doing while you're watching it, it'll be very difficult for two reasons. It'll be incredibly frustrating for you. You'll have to keep switching back and forth between the video and your project, not knowing when to pause, having to rewind all the time, being confused because you missed something, and basically just being super annoyed overall. And two, in trying to do what I'm doing while I'm doing it, you won't actually process or retain any information since you'll be furiously clicking around where I click without understanding the broader context. After every video, there are step-by-step -step instructions outlining exactly what you need to do. So watch, then do. I'm telling you, in these early lessons especially, it's going to be tempting to ignore this advice. But you have to trust me on this. You'll get so much more out of this course and enjoy it so much more if you watch, then do. 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 Okay? I'm pretty sure you get the idea, so let's do it. So again, for this Unity course, you might you want to make sure that you watch and then go ahead and do it on your own. So again, you should press Mark Complete. I'll go to the top and click back on Create with Code. And you're going to get started with this, Unit 1, Player Control. In Unit 1, you will program a car moving side to side on a floating road, trying to avoid or hit obstacles in the way. In addition to becoming familiar with Unity Editor and Workflow, you will learn how to create a C-sharp script and do some simple programming. By the end of this unit, you will be able to call basic functions, then declare and tweak new variables to modify the results of these functions. You can see the version that they were using. It was updated May 29, 2020. It is the Unity version 2018.4. I'm gonna go over the introduction and then you will follow each one of these on your own to complete your project. When you're done with your project, make sure you turn it in. So let's look at the introduction. Welcome to the very first unit of this course, where you will begin your journey creating with code. In this unit, we will create a driving simulator prototype where the user can steer a vehicle down a road to avoid obstacles in its path, or crash into them if that's more their liking. As you create this prototype, you will learn the programming fundamentals to implement player control. That is giving the player the ability to control an object in the world you've created. To accomplish this, you'll have to take some input from the player, maybe they're pressing the arrow keys, using the mouse or a joystick, and translate that into some action in the 3D environment. I probably don't have to explain to you how important player control is. Pretty much every game or interactive experience ever made gives the player control over something in the environment. Otherwise, the player wouldn't have much to do. So whether you're floating a balloon up and down in the air from a side view, moving a character side to side from a top-down view, or rolling a ball around from a third-person view, all of these draw on the same foundational programming techniques. So you'll be able to take this element of player control and apply it to your own projects in all kinds of interesting ways. So let's start creating. So again, make sure you press Mark Complete. This is where you're going to start. Lesson 1.1, start with 3D engines. In this lesson, you will create your very first game project in Unity Hub. You will choose and position a vehicle for the player to drive and an obstacle for them to hit or avoid. You will also set up a camera for the player to see through, giving them a perfect view of the scene. 
Through this process, you will learn to navigate Unity and grow comfortable moving around the 3D space. Lastly, you will customize your own window layout for the Unity editor. Project outcome. You will have a vehicle in an obstacle position on the road and the camera is set up perfectly behind the vehicle. You will also have a new custom Unity layout perfectly optimized for editing. So we've done some of these things. You've used Unity. We've made some Unity projects like It's Raining Shapes with BB-8 and the Cannonball project, but you're gonna follow along with this. Some of this stuff is gonna be very easy because we already started Unity in our class this year. But if you scroll down, you're simply gonna follow these videos. So you can see introduction, you will watch this video, and then obviously press mark step as complete. Make a course folder and project. Again, you will watch this video, and you can see some of these have the steps right below it. So again, remember, watch, then do. So watch the video, and then do it. And if you forgot what they did in the video, the steps are right here below that. But then you would press mark complete. Again, step three, same thing. When you're done with lesson 1.1, you would go back to the next unit. Lesson 1.2, pedal to the metal. In this lesson, you will, you will make your driving simulator come alive. First, you will write your very first lines of code in C-sharp, changing the vehicle's position and allowing it to move forward. Next, you will add physics components to your objects, allowing them to collide with another. Lastly, you will learn how to duplicate the objects in the hierarchy and position them along the road. Earlier this year, we've already learned how to duplicate objects and it's raining shapes. Um, but again, you're gonna follow this tutorial to help you reinforce that knowledge. Project outcome. You will have a moving vehicle with its own C-sharp script and a road full of objects, all of which may collide with each other using physics components. Again, you're gonna follow the videos, press mark complete, and complete this lesson 1.2, pedal to the metal. Lesson 1.3, high speed chase. Overview, keep your eyes on the road. In this lesson, you will code a new C-sharp script for your camera which will allow you to follow the vehicle down the road and give the player a proper view of the scene in order to do this. You will have to use a, a very important concept in programming variables. Project outcome. The camera will follow the vehicle down the road through the scene, allowing the player to see where it's going. Again, you're gonna follow these steps to complete lesson 1.3, high speed chase. Lesson 1.4, step into the driver's seat. In this lesson, we need to hit the road and gain control of the vehicle. In order to do so, we need to detect when the player is pressing the arrow keys, then accelerate and turn vehicle based on the input. Using new methods, vectors, and variables, you will allow the vehicle to move forwards or backwards and turn left or right. Project outcome. When the player presses the up or down arrows, the vehicle will move forward and backward. When the player presses left right arrows, the vehicle will turn. You're gonna follow these videos or the steps below. To complete lesson 1.4, step into the driver's seat. Once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save it and then turn it into your teacher.